First and foremost, Buffalo Bayou Park was designed to withstand major, major floods. If you're gonna survive, you better plan for the worst. We have survived a lot of ups and downs. Obviously, the city was built on the aftermath of the great storm of 1900 when Galveston was wiped out, and so we had to figure out how to survive, and we did. Most of the bayous in the urban core of Houston have at some point been looked at as functioning as drainage ways for the city. And massive floods back in the 1930s really forced the city to, to really consider that. Uh, after the 35 flood, uh, the, uh, the uh, Harris County Flood Control District was created by the T Texas State Legislature and proceeded to start channelizing a number of the bios to help with flooding. Flood bayous need vast areas of floodplain to absorb and transfer water, and the urban density really constricted that. Even when I came to school here in the 70s, the mindset was that we could only design our storm sewers, the stuff that takes away our gully washers, not just the occasional two inches of rain over a couple of hours, but when we have 36 inches of rain, we expected our streets to become the canals. And so I think in anything that we plan, we figure out how, how does weather affect it? How do we redo it if something happens? You just figure out a way to to deal with it and to put something there that is going to last. When rain comes, it comes quickly and strong, and that creates flash flooding in Houston, and the water needs to go somewhere. I think Houston does have a history of resilience and resilience planning, and I think it is rooted in still that idea that when Houstonians decide that something is important, that they they rally everybody together and, and we figure it out. There's a very, very famous story in Houston where then Congressman George Bush was helped Houston get federal money to basically channelize the bayou. And he and a local environmentalist called Terry Hershey and then George Mitchell, the developer of the woodlands just north of here, decided to turn that money back. design a park that can sit with 25 feet of water rushing through it at any given moment and along with that water carrying silt and debris and trash and trees and you know all sorts of things that you don't really associate with you're trying to create something that is going to be a really pleasant place to be. So you design all these features in to protect the bayou for that one day, that one event that comes maybe once a year, maybe three times in a year, maybe not for seven years and it's very unpredictable. We learned the hard way way back in 2001 with something called Tropical Storm Allison, where it dropped on downtown and the Med Center and a few limited areas versus Harvey was everywhere. About the same kind of 36 to 48 inches of rain in about six hours with repeated rainstorms. When Harvey hit, the moment the water went down far enough, people were out there on those trails. And you couldn't always get down to the lower ones, but it was really like a sense of being out with your fellow Houstonians and seeing people and say, hey, I'm all right. As tough as it was, in many ways, things like Buffalo Bayou Park performed incredibly well. I mean, you walk through that park today and it's still there, living, active, usable. ULI Houston community is made up of so many different types of professionals and resilience means different things to different people. But really ULI Houston is a place for us all to get together to understand what it means to me, what it means to you. The whole basis of ULI is adapting and growing in the, the whole process of development, making it better and, and learning from previous mistakes. And here in the city of Houston, each time we have a flood, we adapt. So we have one of the most active ULI chapters in the nation. And whether it's parks, office buildings, whether it's retail, whether it's housing, we support one another, we share ideas, we cross-pollinate the very best that ULI has to offer. It's not like you can only belong in one community. We belong in all of them. I think ULI helps bring those ideas to light and helps create bridges of those communities and those ideas and how to integrate them and make them our own. So what I like about ULI is that the ULI as an organization make us look at what we do on a daily basis to do something good for the society. How do we give back? 
not only how we give back, but it's how do we put this DNA into our own system, says whatever we do, as to the quality of the places that we call it home.